All right, Nated Cam Power Sports here. Um, first of all, sorry about the mess. We're just gonna do a little uh, quick video on how to set up your degree wheel so you can check your port timings. Your very first step is gonna be to rig up some form of a piston stop. Now, if your cylinder head is already on, you can uh, bust apart a spark plug and rig up a bolt through the center of the part spark plug but just something that's gonna stop the piston before it reaches the top dead center there. Um, I, these uh, little spacers are on here because of the pro design studs and the, uh, the reason they're so tall. And uh, the next step is a pointer, a uh, piece of bent wire, a uh, little bit rigid, somewhat close, but flexible so that you can get the final adjustments to your numbers made on your pointer and then uh, we carry this Motion Pro wheel. It does need to be drilled to fit your crankshaft, but they're cheap, and uh, I've had good luck with them. They're they're actually quite close um, when you check against a dial indicator, um, which takes me back to our piston stop. I prefer the piston stop over the dial indicators. Uh, dial indicators are very sensitive. They're very accurate. However, if you are have an existing crankshaft or a little bit of wear and tear and play in your main bearings, um, you can get things a lot more accurate with a piston stop because you can lightly press against that stop and compensate for any wear in the rotating assembly. Okay, so the goal here is, is that the first step is to get everything rigged up close and I'm just roughed in and I'm touching my piston stop and as you notice, my top dead center mark is there, and we are roughly 34 degrees um, this side of top dead center. So the, your next step is to rotate all the way around, uh, bringing it back to top dead center again. I'm hung up on my piston over here. Um, yeah, why don't you help me guide that piston, Hearst? Okay. Anyway, coming back up to top dead center, you land, and you notice I'm about 34 and a half. Let me hold still here, about 35. And I've got it snugged, but I've got some room for a little bit of fudge. So again, reach around, grab the other side of the crank. Look straight on, right at 34 and a half. Come all the way back around the other direction. Looking straight on, I'm at 34. When we get that close, we can make a final adjustment by bending our wire around. Now, once you've done this, it is important that you uh, don't bump your setup or you'll change your reading. So there's 34 and a half. Thirty-three half. You can see where this is going. You need to get them um, just the same both sides. So there's thirty-four. And looking at it straight, there's thirty-four. So now that will that is centered. So then you just take and uh, release your piston stop. And it's gonna fall on the ground on me. Okay, very good. Okay, now you can rotate it just to top dead center. Sorry, I'm looking through the phone, so that's hard for me. Oh, very good, Hurst. You backed up and it got rid of the glare. Let some light in on it. Okay, so here's top dead center right here. And as you can see, we are top dead center. Your next step is to use a flashlight. I like this method. Um, shine your light in there, Hurst. Okay. Using a flashlight, shine it up that exhaust port and direction of rotation counterclockwise with your cylinder marked like this you would bring it down to top dead cent or to I'm sorry to where the exhaust just opens just 
the sliver of light right there okay then you would know how far from top dead center that is it is 81 degrees um, this this way requires a little bit of math 81 and 81 is 162 and then 360 minus 162 would make a duration of uh, 360 minus what again? So we're you're 80, you're 81 times two, so you're 162. Yeah. So you're gonna be uh, 198 degrees of duration. Yeah, 198 degrees of duration. So that this this engine already has plenty of duration. Now the kicker is is because this was a stroker. As we come to bottom dead center, move your light. Okay. You can see the piston comes well below the port. So there's our adjustment to equal 198 degrees of duration and the piston flush at the bottom of the port. And that leaves us with the transfers. So if we come back up to where, let me find my phone again. I, not very good ambidextrous. Okay to where our transfers yeah shine the light in the bore for us yeah not true bring your light up a little bit we're reflecting off the there you go so transfers are just there this one is much more simple if you go to bottom dead center mark and look at what you are away from it you are um what's that 68 degrees yeah so 68 times 2 is going to be 136 degrees of exhaust duration uh, transfer transfer thank you 136 degrees of transfer duration so this cylinder is already ported high but since it came off of another setup and uh since it came off of a different setup and is going on a different stroke, we need to make some adjustments on the bottom. But essentially, that is how your degree wheel works, and that is how you set it up and center it. And there's plenty of information um, on the internet about the little math that I threw out there. I hope this video helped. Um, we'll see you later.